It's not very often that I get good karma. When I got the platinum trophy for this and I had to go through, one of the trophies is like, get to this level with good karma, get to this level with good karma, and all the way up to level 30. And it killed me. I hate being nice to people. It's much more natural to be evil. Plus it's easier as well because like, stealing bullets and stuff and stealing medical supplies. Oh shit. Much better than paying for it. Go on, folks! He'll be okay. Just close the door. Are they dead yet? Nice job! I'll save my ammo. Ooh. Take that. Lead the way. I'll just hide behind you. Bit of a cowardly thing to do, but hey. Look at him. Look at his abs. You could grate cheese on him. <laughs> you could do with speeding up a bit, though. Do it for it, folks. Go. Arm hurt. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Shit. Good job. He's quite a violent guy. He gets shot and he doesn't even care. Getting warmed up. Yeah, don't mess with me. Fox will fuck you up. Good job, my green friend. He's kind of like the Hulk. Now try and get here and there. Oh, he's got bread. Let the bread go. Right, get some backup in here. I like he saw me and started coming for me. You! No, attack forks. Now I release you. What? What kind of cold-blooded line is that? Now I release you. I prefer yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Let the battle begin. You don't find folks. I'll just explore these lockers. Okay. I was merciful. Again, awful line. So anyone else in here? No. I think I'm gonna buy Forks some roller skates for his um birthday. Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Yes, get him some roller skates so he can uh, move faster. I've never understood this bit. Never once have I ever played this and anyone's come. Where he says, wait here in case anyone stumbles across us. Now we play the waiting game. Are you looking at me? Are you talking to me? Somebody seen Taxi Driver one too many times. Let's wait. Hey, you're back. The Gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, yeah, here's the cash. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. 
I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Oh, I certainly hope so. Okay. We can get out of here. Escape Vault 87. Just follow the trail of uh, corpses that Forks has left for us. And we can get back. I'm sure there's more ammo and stuff to find here. I usually find loads of ammo in here, but... I haven't done very well putting my lockpick skill up, so I can't open many things. And plus I can't be fucked. What's that noise? Oh! Hey buddy, did you see a real bright light? Enclave, you son of a bitch. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertebird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right I'm not gonna away, pass sir. out. Passing out is for pansies. I uh, oh, oh, I'm feeling lightheaded. Oh, you're a funny guy, Colonel Autumn. That is why I'm going to kill you last. So we've now been captured by the Enclave. Bad times. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Mm-hmm. What the? No. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? Fuck you. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here. And I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Psh, I've got plenty of bottle caps. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Yeah, run to the president, you little bitch. Ah, alone at last. Big gay. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. Time of the month. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. <gasps> Dr. Fraser Crane. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. <laughs> it annoys me because every time I come here, usually my clothes are damaged, so I have to run around in, like, Fucking underwear. <laughs> uh, do this real quick. Yeah, because if your clothes get damaged while you're wearing them, it doesn't matter, they stay on. But because, like, they've obviously been gay and stripped you, you try and put your clothes back on, and if they're damaged, like mine usually are, because I don't repair them very often, you can't put them back on because you can't wear damaged equipment. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it a day in a second. Uh... Okay, so I can't wear that. But I've got a Vault 112 uniform, I'll wear that. Right, I'll just set everything ready back into its usual place using the um, hotkey, or whatever it's called. And then I'm going to leave it here 
because I've been playing for quite a while now. And next time I play, should finish the main story, not much further. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll be back real soon.